Hello everybody and welcome back to the Stuff That I Like channel. Uh, this is Chris coming back at you with another video. Going to be talking about a sling bag today. Uh, another sling bag similar to the one that I reviewed uh, recently. It is uh, another bag from Amazon that is in the $20 range. Uh, actually I'm looking at my receipt right now and this bag was $21.80 and free with Amazon uh, Amazon Prime shipping. So it was actually a dollar eighty more than the Outdoor Master Sling that I reviewed previously. So this bag is from Intert. It's an Intert Nylon Sling Backpack Shoulder Messenger in C hyphen black. They have a number of different designs, and you really have to be careful when you order these because there are some slight differences to these bags that are really you know, so minimal that there are things that you care about, but there are things that you won't notice if you do a quick, uh, a quick look through on Amazon. So look through the reviews, look through the customer images on everything you buy from Amazon to get a, a real good idea of what people think about stuff. But this bag is the C-Black. So there's a couple different black versions that have a couple different uh, design features. So this bag uh, is... A decent little shoulder bag, a uh, little sling bag. Unlike the um, Outdoor Master, the material feels noticeably less, uh, noticeably less expensive, or I don't want to say cheaper, but it feels noticeably cheaper than the Outdoor Master. This is more of the plasticky style material that you might come to expect from a $20 sling bag. Um, I haven't had any rips on it or anything like that, but it just feels of, of less quality than the Outdoor Master. This bag also, as you can see, has some pretty significant branding on it. Uh, the the Intert is the name that you see on Amazon, but then you have this patch, which I don't even want to try to pronounce that, or maybe I will, Kawikunite, Kawikunit, um, since 2002, so I'm not sure I would be saying that, but... Uh, and then down here you have another Kawika Knight um, badge. So there's some pretty significant branding. You'll also see the orange accents. There was actually orange zipper pulls on all of these zippers. Little kind of um, paracord-esque zipper pulls that I've actually removed because it was just too much orange for me. And quite frankly, I've considered cutting off this patch and this patch, but I'm afraid with this material that I won't be able to cut it off clean. Uh, on some nylon bags that I've had, I have cut off the patches very carefully and they've come off beautifully. So um, that is something that I'm known for, but I, I'm not sure I'll do it on this bag. So let's go through it a little bit. As you can see here, this little flap kind of leads to nowhere. This is a, a design feature and it's there's no corresponding button here our clasp for the button so it just kind of hangs there which is interesting uh, there's a small pocket here and sorry about that I can barely get my hand down there and I have you know medium small hands um, I've opened all the zippers this time so I've wised up a little bit not to try to open zippers on camera with one hand but I will close it and tell you that the zipper's okay not a bad quality uh, it's pretty significant teeth on the zipper actually um, so that's nice the hardware around the bag is, again, not the quality of the Outdoor Master. This is a metal product of some kind. It's not um, a pure metal. It's not a heavy metal. It's just a, it feels maybe, it feels a little, a little lighter. It feels something that could break eventually. Uh, and then your D-rings here are actually plastic, whereas they are uh, a nicer material on the Outdoor Master sling. So... This um, one good thing is these. there's a D-ring here as well as a D-ring here and a D-ring here. So you can change how you wear the strap. This is kind of for a single shoulder, uh, same side wear. This is crossbody left and right shoulder respectively. So that's a nice. Um, there is a little uh, bottle holder here. Pretty light mesh again. Um, not the not the greatest mesh in the world, but it will hold uh, a regular kind of store-bought um, 
water bottle, so a disposable water bottle. So the second pocket here is a pretty decent size. I can get my hand and wrist almost all the way down in it. Let me spin the bag over and do it like this. Um, no pocketing or no organization in this pocket, but it's a pretty good size. And um, so yeah, so that you can get some things down in that in that pocket. This flap actually does double as a pocket as well. Um, you can, and it's, sorry the lighting's not great, but you can get down in there. And I had my cell phone in this pocket, which is, it's not zipperable, so there's a, there's a button up here, which there is a corresponding clasp for this button. So you unbutton this and you have just a slot here where um, you can slide a cell phone or something like that. And this goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. So that's nice. And then under the flap, there is a separate compartment, as you see here, with a zipper. Uh, this is a smaller zipper than the, um, as you can see next to this one here. This is a, a less hefty zipper, I guess because this pocket is uh, theoretically protected most of the time. And again, this is just an open pocket, no nothing fancy in there, no organization, but it, this bag does give you a lot of option with regard to pockets. I mean, there are pockets on top of pockets here, which I like. I'm a big fan of pockets and organization, so that's a good. Um, a little uh, pass-through for your headphones, and if you have your happen to have your phone or your tablet in the bag, you can put your headphones through and do it that way. So... Um, that's a nice feature and something that you see on quite a few bags. So coming into the main pocket here, this main pocket does have some organization. And let me see if I can't get a little light in there for you. Uh, it is, one, let's see, here we go. You can see a pocket there uh, that is a size, you know, generally for about a 10 inch tablet is as big as you're going to get in there. Uh, and then that's really it in terms of pockets. There's a zip pocket right here. And that is, oh, sorry, that was open. That is kind of like a pencil pocket, you know. Um, so there's a small bit of organization in there, internal organization with that pocket. Now I have seen, again, online, that there are different versions of these internal pockets there are different versions of the drink holder um, so again be very careful and be very intentional about which bag you are buying because if you're not you may get one that doesn't look exactly like the picture which we've probably all done if we've if we've been on Amazon um, so flipping the bag over you will see kind of a secret pocket here which is very small. I mean, I can. That's the end right there. So I can barely get the size of my fingers in there. So it's probably you know maybe four or five inches at the most. Um, and it's it's right in the middle of the back. If it was down here, um, where you could maybe access it with one hand, that would be cool. But it's kind of useless being where it is in the middle of the back. So moving up. Um, this strap is a nylon material. Uh, it's not bad. You can see some fraying here on the buckle, uh, around the buckle. And this is a plastic buckle again, uh, plastic slider here. Um, but the strap is nylon and, and it's not a bad quality. Stitching appears to be nice on right here where it's connecting. And then down here, this this little clip is is actually okay. I mean, it's it's not great, but it's it's not going to pull right off or anything like that. So as you can see, I'm having trouble getting it off with one hand. So that's a good thing, but there you go. Um, so it's a, it's a plastic with a little metal kind of carabiner clip here. So, and it's got some pretty good tension to it. So, um, that's the strap. It's fully adjustable, of course. And, uh, yeah. So I think that is about all I have to say about this bag. Uh, I'm planning to do a comparison side by side with the Outdoor Master Sling, which again is a dollar cheaper and I think uh, of better quality. But if this style speaks to you, this is not a bad option. Um, uh, let me get out the, the measurement real quick before I go and see if I can get a quick uh, basic measurement. We are looking at 
from top to bottom about 18 so a little bit shorter maybe 17 or 18 so a little bit shorter than the outdoor master so it's not a big bag 17 or 18 tall by I'm gonna say it's probably 10 or 11 wide um, so yeah about 11 wide uh, so there you go that's what you're getting you can fit a tablet in here and like with all these slings uh, you're not gonna get a backpack into it this is casual outdoor uh, maybe to the gym not to the office with the uh, the orange accents and the and the kind of over the top branding and this kind of ridiculous flap here so this flaps maybe my number one beat because I don't get it there's this button here but there's no button here and it literally goes over top of this patch so not the best construction uh, but all right let me know what comments you have in the in the comment section below and uh, until next time